Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today I'm going to at least start the process of installing my sleeve hitch on my Husqvarna TS-354XD, which you see right there. So the point of this is to be able to have ground engaging uh, implements attached to the back of the tractor, uh, the garden tractor. So I bought this off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description. Hopefully that stays relevant. And then I have all the parts here laid out. I have the instructions on the seat and we are gonna get this together. So this is just a generic one. I don't think it had like a, a brand name attached to it, but first impressions are pretty good. Uh, the paint is really well done on them. I don't see any, oh, there's a chip right there in the powder coating. But other than that, I think that's the only chip I've seen. Um, it's very smooth, pretty clean. I expect it to get beat up pretty quickly <laughs> once I start using it. Uh, but initially the metal feels nice, solid. The welds look really nice. The paint or powder coat is in pretty good shape. Uh, it wasn't boxed all that great, but it was okay. Um, I think the um, FedEx, the yeah, the FedEx lady uh, dropped it. She was a fairly petite woman who delivered it, and she struggled getting it off of her vehicle and actually ended up having to help her with that. So something to consider um, if you're FedEx delivery person or, or UPS, uh, USPS delivery person, however it gets shipped to you, is on the more petite side. Uh, coming to the instructions. They're in pretty good English reading through here. Um, hopefully I can get through and understand them just fine. Uh, they seem pretty straightforward for the most part. It tells you what tools you need, shows you what pieces you're working on. Um, there's really not a lot of uh, a lot of steps here to be perfectly honest. So and hopefully it goes through together pretty quickly. So I gotta update as I go through each step. All right, so we have this first step done. Um, there's two sets of brackets. This is the second set. What you use will depend on uh, your tractor. Um, you wanna make sure you keep an eye on the orientation of the um, bolt there. And you can see the two sets here. One kind of has a half moon sticking out of it. Um, the other one is flat sided. This is the uh, flat sided one, and this is not the one used for the uh, Husqvarna. Now, installing these took way longer than it should have, uh, just because of there is really no room to get these in here. And the, I will show you the trick that I did. Obviously, I can't use the bolts because I already used them and they're in. But what is it I did is I have this smaller crescent wrench and I put the bolt in like so and kind of the oh, wrong way tighten that up so it was just kissing the bolt and then I could find a find you know stick it back in there and angle it kind of hold it up so it didn't fall out and then get it just in the hole and then with my other hand I could grab it from the other side so that's how I got them in uh, all four you know up from underneath wherever hole I was going for um, that's the way I did it. Uh, it was harder than it should have, but it was doable. Um, so that's my recommendation is to use your um, wrench, kind of like a hand extension to get those bolts through. So now I'm tightening these down and we'll move on to the next step. Um, it's actually time to go feed my kids dinner. So I'll probably come back to this uh, possibly tomorrow after dinner or tomorrow after work when I have left some light out. All right, so I take that back. I actually went ahead and finished it up tonight because that took like five minutes to put the rest of it together. Getting these bolts on the side in and tightened down took close to an hour of trying to get the bolt fed through. Hopefully you have smaller hands than me or longer fingers or something um, and can get those four bolts, two on this side and two on this side fed through and tightened down. The rest of it just went right together. Uh, you have these four bolts here, which I don't have tightened down just yet. I will be tightening those down here shortly. And these two here, super simple. The hole that they go into is square, which holds them into place. You tighten the nylon nut down. Uh, then the only other bolt you need to tighten down, well, there's two. There's this one, which I haven't tightened down yet. And I'll talk about that in just a second. 
and this one, which for the same reason I've tightened it down. These I haven't tightened down because I want to adjust the handle, make sure nothing's getting hung up on anything. Uh, as far as the handle goes, you get the rubber grip. Uh, put a little dish soap on there and just tap it down with a rubber mallet. It goes on super easy. Uh, and now the reason why I haven't tightened these down yet is because I actually have a yard implement coming. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, that is a, um, a, box, a box grater. Um, so my driveway is a little bit on the rough side. I want to clean it up. And I don't know how it's going to sit. So I don't want to tighten these down just to have to loosen them and redo it. So like this is adjustable on how far down it goes. Um, these are just pins, or the cutter pin, so they don't need to be tightened. Um, this uh, can be tightened so the whole thing is on there a little bit uh, tighter and won't come off. And so I'll probably tighten that one down after I get it adjusted and get these adjusted as well. So I'm just waiting for that implement to show up so I can uh, adjust these basically um, at this point. But yeah, putting the rest together, like five minutes. Um, getting those stupid four bolts in took like... An hour now the great thing about this is now that it's installed i just take this out and the whole thing lifts off and away and i can store it when i'm not using it which is really great because now i kind of have this big handle sticking out over here um that's kind of in the way of stuff um so yeah so we'll see how i want that to go anyways hopefully somebody finds this video helpful uh, in installing a sleeve hitch on their Husqvarna. Um, I'll put a link again to this one in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.